Welcome back, folks. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it much. All right, we all decided, well, most of us did, to use the old epoxy to glue these inserts in this Les Paul guitar. You know, a lot, like a lot of y'all mentioned, I'll bring you over here and show you in a minute. I'll just get you and do it right now. Hold on. Get you. I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute. I thought about what Dane Nichols said. Route this entire area out. All four inserts. Route the whole thing out. Cut a new piece of wood to set down in there. And glue it in. You know, that's a lot of work. Uh, and this... A lot of y'all mentioned about drilling out, putting dowel pins in there, you know, new wood, and then re-drill those out. Some of you mentioned putting epoxy in there and set the inserts down inside the epoxy where it starts to kind of set up and pull them out, and then you would have the right size hole. Uh, you know, when that goes in there, you can see it's fairly tight. I mean, it's, well, it's not tight this way, but it doesn't move around once it's down in there. And with the epoxy on it, it's going to move around even less. But the idea is... The reason that one's tight is because of that ground wire. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's all kind of fucking shit going on around me. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm going to do is put epoxy on those inserts. And then I'm going to put this piece of wood. I'm going to take a piece of wood and a hammer and beat them in there and make sure they are seated this time. Okay? Then I'm going to lay this big piece of wood on top. And this piece of wood on top of that. And use this wrench and run the same thing. Strap around the guitar. And crank it down on those blocks of wood. And I'm going to shove those things through the back side of this guitar. <laughs> now the reason i got to use the wood is because the, the knobs are in the way. Even if I took the knobs off. You know the strap's got to come right up over. If you look at it this way you can see. That knob right there is exactly in the way. If I take the knob off, it's still going to be in the way. I can take the pot out, yeah, but I have to unsolder it and all that. So it's easier just to put a block there, like so, and another block. That'll that'll increase the angle of the strap, and the knobs won't be in the way anymore. Put them right in the center of both uh, inserts, and I am going to bear down on it until these rings are flat against the surface. See, that one goes in there pretty good. I mean, I don't even have to glue it, but I'm going to. This one, not so good. But like I say, when it's in there, see, it doesn't move any at all. And that epoxy is even going to make it uh, tighter, you know. That sounded like a piece of, piece of finish pulled up there. Probably did. So what I'm going to do is mix this stuff up. I've got a piece of cardboard. got to get a toothpick or something to mix that with. And I'll bring you back, and we'll start to... Uh, lubing these guys up I then took the tape off like I said you know if I epoxy the, with the tape on it shove it down in there the insert could just slide right out of the tape so I'm not going to do that I already took the tape off of it in fact it was a mother getting off but it's off so I'm going to mix up this shit and I'll bring you back and we'll do this thing hold on oh yeah we're having another windstorm tonight can you believe that Every time I work on this guitar, we have a major windstorm. We're having a major one right now. And it's becoming the usual. So there we have our steel, and there we have our hardener. Equal amounts. You can mix it uh, differently if you want different strengths. I'm just going to shove the hardener over there in the, uh, or the steel into the hardener. I don't know if you can see this or not, but away we go. And you want to mix this stuff good too, because if you don't mix it good, you're not going to get the desired results. But yeah, I think you have, I don't know how much time, you, uh, working time you have with this stuff. I think it's a pretty good bit of time though. I think... And there you can see it's completely gray now. Get it off of the stick a little bit. Wow, that stuff's heavy, man. Thick. Thick like snot. <laughs> I'll have it all over all of us before we're finished here. Uh, I started to tape the ends of these up. 
you know you don't want any of that shit getting up in there on these threads and I thought about putting a piece of tape over the ends but I can see where these bottom out in there and uh, you know if I'd like for that to maybe get a little bit of glue on that lip so where it, where it bottoms out that also will hold if you follow me <laughs> now really don't, I'm not going to have to put it on here very thick but I want it to cover the whole thing. I do want that. You probably can't see shit. Yeah, we want it all over that baby. And I need for that to be kind of tight right now so I can turn it just like that. I think it came loose again. It did. <laughs> wow, nothing ever works, does it? I don't know if y'all's hearing that wind or not, but <laughs> it's weird, man. Every time I work on this guitar, it comes a windstorm. That's a fact. I would almost not even put glue on that other insert because it does fit tight. It doesn't fit as tight as it should, but it's way tighter than this one fits. Let's make sure this area is covered all the way up to the lip, like so. And make sure the whole thing's covered. Wow, it's getting hard to hold on to. There we go. It's turning on me. I told you I'd have it all over all of us, man. By the time I get through with it. I'll have glue all over your computer screen, baby. That looks pretty good. That lip right there. That's what I'm talking about. I want to get glue right up to that because I want that to hold too. That looks pretty good to me. It's covered pretty well. I should be able to get it in there without getting any on the threads now that way. And I see a couple places it could be a little bit heavier, thicker. Yeah, that's good. I have plenty of glue left over, I think. I think you can see well enough there to see what's going to happen. Yeah, man. Got just a little bit around me. the side right here. I want to wipe off. Wow, listen to that wind. That's incredible. Amazing. <laughs> you know what? I need a, a ride like this. Wipe that away there, that's much better. We'll have it all over all of us, folks. Told you I would. Well, we want it to look as nice as possible. Yeah, I wouldn't take me much to uh, not put any glue on that other insert. At least not for right now, but I don't know what the hell. Go ahead and do it, I guess. Now she's in there. Let me make sure I didn't get glue on those threads. I don't think I did. But it never hurts to check. Perfect, man. No glue on the threads. There is some, however. Well, I'm about to screw this screw down on that lip. If you want to do that. Never be able to screw the screw out. Where it's squeezed out there. Oh, I think I forgot to show you how that last job turned out. Turned out pretty good. As good as can be expected, I guess. I'm talking about where it uh, used this big band clamp on it before. That job.
Now I want to go ahead and screw that all the way down so I can get my blocks up here on it. Wait a minute. I need to check the screw, make sure the screw lip doesn't have glue on it because that top piece did. I may have tightened the screw down in there. No, there's none there. Alright, that's what I wanted to see. Cannot believe the wind blowing like that. Just, wow, that's crazy. The last three times that I've worked on this guitar, it's been at night time. And all three times, just leave that loose. All three times, uh, the wind, we had wind storms. I don't know, it just seems like very weird to me that it would do that. <laughs> you know? Wow, I don't know. Crazy stuff. I'm not going to need as much glue on this one as I put on that other one. I don't think it's setting up yet, but that glue is, is so thick, man. It's really hard to tell if it's setting up or if it's just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I don't like the thoughts of even using epoxy on a, on a guitar, on anything. So I'll probably pause the video about right here until I get this on because I know you're probably getting sick of watching this one thing and I'll bring you back when we get ready. <laughs> Hold on. And they're in there and they are tight. I want to take the screws out one more time. Buddy, they are all the way down now. They're at them lips are all the way down against the, the body. This, this one needs to go a tiny bit. It is done. <laughs> now all we've got to do is get the strap on it. I want to make sure there's no... I won't hold you up for this. I'm just going to take both screws out. Make absolutely sure there's no glue in it where we don't want it to go like on these threads. And there's not a bit of glue on those. There'll be a little bit on the top here. And I'll bring you back when we get ready to strap it up. Strap it on. Strap on. Yeah, there was some glue there too. I'm glad I checked that. Wow, didn't know that was on there. I must have got that on there when I was putting the glue on the thing. I'll bring you back when we get ready to strap on. <laughs> Hold on. I'll bring you over here for a better shot once I get everything some kind of order. It's very hard to control. Bring this here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand or not. Put to go. Just like that. And all the weight distributed evenly. Very important. Well, yeah. It will say probably put more weight on the one up here that was loose, but I think we're going to be okay there. Just like that. Make sure in the middle as much as possible. Wow, that's tight, man. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go one more or not. That's really tight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is tight, city. Wow. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I don't think. Yeah, I'm going to get you. Show you the close up of it now. Wow, you're almost out of the picture. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Windstorm got me shook up. And there she is. Check it out, man. 
I mean, it is applying some serious force down on that. Get in here, try to get you a shot underneath there. Show you what it looks like. Can't get much light under there. Epoxied in. That strap uh, clamp is one of the most handy tools I ever bought. I mean, I use that thing for everything, man. You don't have to worry about it hurting the guitar. It's got corners you can use. You know, if you think it's going to hurt it, but I never used them. Well, I have used them, but usually I don't. <laughs> and uh, anyways, the blocks were to change the angles up so the strap wouldn't catch on the the uh, volume knobs over here. It's a done deal. I'll let that set for 24 hours before I touch it again. Hold on. Now that little area where the screw, you know how the screw screws down in the insert. Right where the screw and the insert meet. I got glue on both of those somehow. I don't know how I did that. But uh, I did. And I took them out wiped them off. And then somehow I got glue on them again. Before I put this stuff on there. I don't know if I got it on camera or not. But before I put the, everything on. I put the inserts in. Hammered them down in. And then screwed the screws out. Wiped all that glue away the second time. Screwed the screws back down in, but I didn't screw them all the way in this time. I left them apart, just in case that was a little bit got in there again. I was a pretty good bit of squeeze out around both of them. I don't know if I got that on video or not. But I knew there would be. I wanted to get that off that finish before it even starts. It's already, check this out, man. It's all, it's almost, I can almost hold that cardboard up with it already. I could when I first picked it up there. It's getting very hard. But it'll take 24 hours. I'm going to leave this stick out here on that cardboard and come back tomorrow and I'll know how dry that is by checking the stick <laughs> thanks for watching folks uh, give this video a big thumbs up I've been meaning to mention that I don't say it on every video like some people do but it helps me a great deal it does the channel good YouTube promotes it better uh, you know we get a lot of uh, thumbs up videos so I'd appreciate if you thumb this video up I'm not going to say it on every video but I'm just saying <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated if you did cheers thanks for watching uh, I'll bring you back or I'll let you know how this went See you soon. Just in case you didn't believe me. Now when you know it's calm again. Well you can hear it a little bit. See the wind chimes over there. And every time I come open the door it's, it's calm. It quits. Now maybe you can hear what little bit it's blowing now. That's nothing compared to like it was. But it's weird. Every time I work on that guitar at night we get a windstorm. Very much weird. Hold on.